The purpose of this VHDL video is to show how to take a piece of VHDL code from a book, in this case the Shogunal VHDL, and put it to my Xilinx integrated uh, development system and do a demonstration by simulating the behavior of this code. I will take a copy of this selected code and put it to my Xilinx development system. This actual code has two architectures that are kind of doing the same functionality. I don't want to use that. Uh, I only want one architecture. So I will start up my Xilinx system. Here it goes. Yep. Yep. Okay. I will open a new project. I will call it um, VHDL from book. The top level will be VHDL. You need to change this if you have been around in schematic. It will go to my old Spartan. Uh, I don't really care too much. I'm not going to put it down into the actual, uh, into actual physical hardware. Here we go. First thing is to put in a new source, not add source, but a new source. And I will put in a piece of VHDL source. So this is a VHDL module. The file name will be uh, this is a NAND with three inputs. Inputs. Next. I got something called the, def the module help define system where I can kind of uh, define the inputs and outputs from my module. But this is already defined in my entity of the module so I will jump over that part and finish and here we got it. So what I got out of this is uh, anyway a lot of code that should help me build my system. I don't want this piece of code I just want to put in my own code so what I'll do is I'll delete this part and put in my own code is coming from the PDF file. Uh, coming from a PDF file it kind of ruins the uh, indention and it kind of ruins part of the um, part of the setting up of how it is. So here's my entity like this. Uh, here's my architecture think it goes like this and here's my library um, yeah. first things is to see if this uh, system is uh, synthesizable if it will uh, if it will check the design uh, check the syntax so I will try to check the syntax it wants me to say the thing and it goes like this and Check syntax completely successful. Very nice. Next thing is trying to do a simulation towards this system. So I want to put in a new uh, source for this, which will be a VHDL test bench, and this will be a test one of uh, NAND tree. Next, add the project and goes to my name tree. Next, yes, here it goes. Whoa, I've got a lot of errors down here. Oh, it is errors, yes. Looking at this, the first error comes like line 62. And what happens is that whenever I do my uh, 
VHDL test bench towards some VHDL code. It will assume that I want a uh, clock for my system. In this case, uh, I'm working on a combinatorial circuit. I really don't want no clock. Looking at my NAND gate, this is actually what happens is just this. So this is a pure combinatorial circuit has nothing to do with clocks so I will not have any clocks so I'll delete this part looking a bit down I will see more of the clocks so looking here I've got some clock process definition and this take this part away and down here I've still got a bit something with clock so getting rid of this I will do my test again so this is my test and I will check the syntax of this and I want to save the new changes and behavioral check syntax so knowing that I'm testing only this uh, NAND gate, I want to put in what's like a few combinations, maybe not uh, all eight, all combinations, but some of the combinations to see that the thing works. Uh, so what have I got? I've got like three inputs that leaves me to uh, eight combinations. I'll try one of them. A will have the value of a zero. Um, B will have the values zero, and C will have the value of the zero. Then I will just go and wait for ten uh, nanoseconds, uh, maybe hundred nanoseconds. Um, and I will repeat the same sequence. Control C, Control V, v. maybe a couple of these. So I want to put in one of the. I'm going to change this. I want to change this and this. This is not very systematically. And I want to put in one and a. One and a one, and then I'm going back to the same circuit again. Yeah, I want to save this. Control S, and I want to check the syntax. It looks like I've got myself some syntax errors. What does it say? Syntax error. Ah. So I think the idea is that I forgot the semicolon. Yes. So what I forgot is this semicolon in, in these after these weightings. There and there and there and I've got them. Oh no. This one, control S, and do the check syntax. Need a one, yes, and simulate the behavior model. This will be interesting. Zooming to a full view. Ooh. So what I see is my F, which is the output, going high except when all A, B, and C are low. And drag this same thing. You can see here, 111 gives me a zero, whereas all the other combinations seems to give me a one on the output. I think I'm happy with this. Um, 
going back to yeah i think that will do for this time uh, more videos to come